Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you guys find this reading is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you guys subscribe, I upload my new videos for Taurus and Scorpio on Tuesdays. Also, the deck that I'm using today is called the Bianco Nero Tarot for anyone who's interested, as well as my information being in the description below if you're interested in getting a personal reading. And I do just want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up that um, sometimes the cards like to flip over in the deck. I do see them. However, I usually really only take jumpers, so... cards that have jumped out of the deck like these ones have. Usually if they come out in groups that are a little bit too big, I'll go ahead and put them back and then just continue shuffling until we get another card that jumps out by itself or maybe another card. It just depends on how many jump out. But my goal here is to get you guys roughly eight or nine cards and then we can get started on your reading. So I'm gonna just continue shuffling until I can draw you guys about three more cards and then we can get started. Alright Taurus, so I do just want to remind you guys that <clears throat> in case you enjoy the reading, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment, but here your overall energy is the Two of Pentacles, which I think is actually a really good energy for you guys to be in, because the Two of Pentacles speaks all about balance, and I think that in this particular deck, even more so than others, the Two of Pentacles talks about this idea of balance between you know, uh, everything that is your inner self and the outer self, sort of like the material and the spiritual, and probably the material between like you and other people. So I think that that's really good because for a lot of you guys, you felt kind of out of whack in your sort of stability right now. And I think that the fact that you have this two of pentacles here really comes almost like at a good time to reassure you guys that stability is on its way. And you will be in a situation where you feel comfortable with where you're at, you know. And I know that because we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles here. So first of all, I want to talk about this sort of sense of progression here with the Eight going into the Nine, right? We can see the ascension from going from the Eight to the Nine. So that to me feels like you guys are going to see a lot of progression happening especially in the short term because we have in the very first column here uh the eight and the nine right <clears throat> so i think that in the near future you guys are going to see a lot of that and i think it has to do with your work perhaps you're going to get some kind of a raise or maybe some kind of recognition maybe a bonus at work i'm hearing christmas bonus which i mean is within the year but that's still a couple months out um either way i'm thinking that Whatever this moment is here for you that is the Eight of Pentacles, that's going to be sort of this moment in your work or career that's going to facilitate you becoming this Nine of Pentacles, right? And the Nine of Pentacles to me is this independent card. Uh, I like to call it the single and ready to mingle card. So I think that for a lot of you guys, you might be really severing a lot of these uh, dependency ties that you might have on other people. And I don't think that they're necessarily like dependent in like a toxic way or anything. I just think that some of you guys maybe rely on other people financially or maybe rely on other people uh, as a support group, you know, emotionally or whatever. But when I see this, I know that you guys are really entering this mode of independence, which I think is really good for you guys. And that's going to really propel you forward. 
So it's very interesting here as well because we have the Eight of Wands, which to me is usually really a positive card. It's a card about communication in reverse with the Star card here. So the Eight of Wands to me in this particular situation feels like there is some kind of a communication that isn't happening. And I think what it is is that there is probably a conversation or maybe just like talking in general that isn't taking place. And now that you have the star card, you know, whatever it is that you're wishing is going to come th true, right? So I'm almost getting like word vomit. Like this person who has been really quiet and really tight lipped in the past is probably going to like start talking and you, you might have trouble having them shut up about it to be entirely honest. But I feel like with this um, sort of lack of communication, I feel like it's representative of a particular topic in general. So there must be something that I think that like a topic that they're avoiding, a talk that they don't want to have with you, um, something serious, something that's, you know, not necessarily lighthearted or fluffy or whatever. But I think that you think it's necessary to happen, especially here with the star card. So I'm thinking that it's actually going to take place now. And that's going to give you a lot more tranquility, right? It's going to give you a peace of mind that makes your life a lot easier um, because now you know sort of like what cards are on the table and whatever. And I do want to talk about this Emperor Nine of Swords combo. So the Nine of Swords and the Emperor here are both in reverse. And the Nine of Swords is certainly a card that I like to see in the reverse <laughs> because the Nine of Swords is a card about stress. It's about uh, it's a card about anxiety. It's a card about having difficulty sleeping. And the fact that it's in reverse tells me, like I was saying earlier, that you're going to have sort of this tranquility that comes to you, right? You guys are going to probably, as a result of this conversation, have some peace of mind that's going to help you sleep at night, you know, and that might be in a literal sense or a met metaphorical sense. I just think that it's going to make you guys be able to rest a lot more easily than you have been now. And this also to me is a, uh, I'm thinking that for others of you guys, you just aren't sleeping period. So get more rest. Like, I think that a lot of you guys have sort of this tendency to like stay up um, past sort of like what a reasonable time is for your body to sleep, uh, you know, because of X, Y, and Z. And sometimes like life happens. Sometimes we have like last minute projects that we need to do or whatever but like in the short term yes that might be beneficial but I think that in the long term you know staying um awake and really pushing your body to its limits and not giving yourself ample time to rest is really going to hurt your health here with this uh nine of swords so this to me is like the signal to tell you to really try to turn that habit around as much as you possibly can get as much rest as you can because I think that it's very important also here with this Emperor in reverse, the Emperor is very interesting, especially when I see it in reverse, because when I see the Emperor and the Empress, I usually think, you know, divine counterparts. And the fact that it's in reverse tells me that there's sort of this energy of this person not either not feeling worthy or you not seeing them as worthy, right? And regardless of what it is, I know that it's connected to this, right? It's connected to the conversation that isn't happening. And you know, I'm not surprised that the emperor is in reverse and you're also becoming independent. So I think that for some of you guys, this relationship here or whoever this, right, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. It could be like a relationship with your father. But either way, this connection here, I think that for some of you is salvageable. For others of you, probably not. But you'll know if it is or if it isn't. And... This is a connection that is really on the rocks right now. And I think that this is just confirmation that's saying don't stress about it. Don't stress about anything. You know, like the expression too blessed to be stressed is really coming to my mind right now. Um, take some time to, you know, express some gratitude to the universe, count your blessings, and that'll help you manifest in more of the same energy. So like I was saying, for some of you, this connection here is certainly salvageable because we have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is a card about something being worth fighting for. So I think that at the end of the day, you think that this connection is worth fighting for. 
and you would prefer to salvage it. And you have this page of wands here, which is like the beginning stages of like passionate message, right? And like, that's sort of like this uh, abundance, like childlike energy to me. So like, just like a, a love for life, you know, that kind of energy that we lose when we become like those bitter adults. So I think that for a lot of you guys, you know, bettering the connection is on the horizon. It's just a matter of like, going through the motions, really putting in the work and all that, which I see that you're certainly more than capable here with this Nine of Pentacles. But Taurus, that was your reading. If you enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if you guys resonate with these readings. But like I said before, I upload my new videos for Taurus on Tuesday. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.